Hey everybody and welcome to a new embroidery quick tip video with Embird um, brought to you by OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and sponsored of course by OML Patches. So today's quick tip we are working in Embird Studio and I'm just going to show you something really fast and really cool so navigate towards um, Studio and I just have a normal screen here. I am going to do a shape just for um, quickness and there's a couple quick tips in there. So I'm going to click on my fill stitch and I'm going to, a lot of people get really confused at this point because I've clicked on fill stitch, I go up to shape and there's nothing available and people can't figure it out and get frustrated and we don't want that. What you have to do it's really simple you have to remember the steps for a shape there's two extra things that if you don't do it won't work so you have to place a point down so you click your tool um, it doesn't have to be a fill tool there's a couple more you can do you place your start point then you go up to shape and then they're all available you can also do some from library and set up your library but for now we're just going to use one of these so why don't we do let's see a polygon so you go to where you started and you left click and you hold and you bring it out and you can make it thin thick by moving it up and down and over so you can you know precision place how you want it and how you want it to look I mean you could even make it look like that just by and I'm still holding down the mouse key don't let go once you let go it's done and you'll have to if you if it's not quite right you'll have to change it so there we go I let go now this is the second place where everyone gets confused because everything up here is grayed out and your only choice is to cancel and if you cancel you're going to lose everything so you can see by my um, mouse and uh, there's a little icon underneath in a square that tells you you're still in shape builder mode basically so what you need to do is right click and what you want to do you only have two options but you have to do one of the two you go to two elements and what this does is take you out of shape building mode as you can see by my um, pointer it's different and it's going to place all of your nodes going on and that's how you now these are all straight nodes and this shows this shows the direction that it's going so there you go that is how you do a shape now we're gonna fill it with fill number two now you have everything open so unless you bring it to elements you won't be able to make your shape now we're going to st stitch it and I ha I'm in 3D view let's bring it back to the middle and awesome you can see how it looks if you don't like 3D view you can switch to normal view but for this one I want to do it this way now rulers top rulers bottom very handy you can pull out guidelines um, hopefully everyone knows how to do this and all I'm doing I bring my mouse into if you look over on the left I bring my mouse into the ruler and you see it changes from a pointer to a cross now I'm left clicking and dragging and you drag out a guideline and let's put it at there and it turns red so you can see that it's different from your stitches now guidelines will not stitch out they're just lines on the program um, and that's why they show them in red so you won't get guidelines but I'm gonna show you a little trick you take a guideline let's put it right in the middle there that doesn't look the greatest you have to select your item and then you right click right click on there I was clicking wrong I was clicking on the object so I clicked on the guideline because this is a specific thing and you go to slice objects can you see what it did how awesome is that let's select everything and let's generate so I took in in two clicks and as long as you're clicking in the right place I took my one design and I quickly and very effectively split it into two 
parts. Now, as long as you have it highlighted, it's going to work. So let's do one this way. Now, I only have this one highlighted, not both of them. So left click, drag down to where you want it. Let's say we want to chop it off there. You let go and it turns red and then click on the object, right click on the guideline and slice. And uh, you can see that we've done it. We've done it again. Let's go to generate. The shortcut is G for that generate. And there you go. Now we've chopped up our thing very effectively, very perfectly. And I think that's a wonderful shortcut. So remember when you're making shapes, you need to put the um, first point down, then go up to shape. And remember the other point is once you pull out your shape, you need to um, right click and go to elements. And for quick splitting, draw a guideline, highlight your item, right click on the guideline, and you go to slice and you have perfect little pieces. And that'll work on any design that you want to do. Say you wanted to put lettering in between here. It's a super easy, quick and easy way to um, split it so it's perfect. You know, this is obviously isn't a monogram, but it would work um, because you can still see the outside shape and I put some guidelines around for the writing. Awesome. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you um, enjoyed this quick tip. Let me know by clicking the like, like button down below if you want to see more of these quick tip videos. Um, click the like button, let us know what you think, and we will keep making them. We are starting 2016. Um, we're a little bit behind, but we have a great big class schedule, and I think every single video will be beneficial to you guys. We did this stuff plus a little bit more. So check us out at omldigitizing.com. If you want more videos like this and you really want to learn embroidery, that is the place to start. Thank you for watching.